Amphibians are in trouble, and this is the culprit, chytridiomycosis, a deadly fungus. It moves in waves and is carried by water. Because of chytrid, species are vanishing at a disconcerting rate. Scientists all over the world are working on a cure, but there are no easy answers. All around the world, researchers are using these same protocols to test for chytrid. Chytrid can only be confirmed with a DNA test. Scientists use the information to map the spread of the fungus and zero in on vulnerable populations. It moves fast and kills fast. What it does is a spore will land on the amphibian skin and then the spore actually burrows into one of the uh, cells of the frog or salamander. That then would develop into a sporangium, which just releases more spores, which can then just colonize the frog over and over and over again. Frogs and salamanders breathe across the skin. So when there's a massive infection, what it seems to do is to disrupt metabolism and causes essentially heart failure. Chytrid is a deadly mystery. No one knows for sure where it came from. But the unwitting culprit is likely this strange creature, the African clawed frog. Tens of thousands of her kind were shipped worldwide for use in pregnancy tests in the 1930s and 40s. Expose these frogs to human pregnancy hormones and they'll lay eggs. No eggs means not pregnant. But once their work in the lab was done, many were set free. We've spread the chytrid to species that were totally naive and therefore they have no immunity built up and that's when you get these population declines and extinctions. The African clawed frog is a carrier, the typhoid Mary of chytrid. <laughs>